Flyers TV is sponsored by the Bay Hotel. Craig, is there a buzz in the dressing room after that, that win on Sunday against Nottingham? Yeah, of course. It's always a big thing, um, beating a Southern Conference team, especially someone like Nottingham, um, especially at that sort of uh, scoreline. Um, it's one of these things we're taking game by game, trying to do our best in every single game. And, you know, if we didn't come out so great on the on the Saturday, so coming out on the Sunday and getting the, getting the win, you know, it kind of rounded off the weekend really well. What did you make of that performance on the Sunday? Yeah, I thought it was great. I thought the guys played really, really well. We played very physical. Um, and it's not, that's something we've really tried to do over the last little while is trying to come out and be a lot more physical. Um, and I think it played quite well. You know, the, the fans seemed to really like it as well. You know, it was, there was a good atmosphere in the arena. And um, I think, you know, if we keep a, keep on playing like that, then we'll certainly have a success throughout the season. And the team in the recent weeks have started to get some really, really good results. Yeah, definitely. It's one of these things. It's um, it's a it's a tough league this year. You know, there's a lot of good teams, and it's it's not something. You know, obviously you're going into every game hoping to to win the game, but in the, this season, it's definitely something that every team's kind of struggling with. Is you know trying to be consistent on a game to game basis. You know, every every team's slightly different as well, and. Um, yeah, it's just a case of, especially this time of year where we've got slightly more games and that, it's just trying to stay consistent and, and do well. And there's no team really kind of breaking away from the pack at the top or, or the bottom of the table as well? No, no, that's the thing. It's um, all teams, you know, there's each week there's, you know, there's you look at the different um, results that are coming in and there's no way of determining, you know, who's going to win or who's going to lose. You know, it's it's mixed results every week. So, yeah, it's, it's good to have that rather than having, you know, peop teams at the bottom of the league really sort of dropping out and other teams, you know, sailing through. Is there a lot of confidence going to, to Saturday at home to, to Manchester Storm and getting the two points? Yeah, definitely. You know, coming off the win from Sunday there, I think, um, it, as I said, taking game by game, but Saturday definitely we'll be looking to, to take the two points and, you know, go into Sunday's game, you know, looking to do the same. So. And what have you made of Manchester this season in the games they played against Fife? Yeah, Manchester's been good. You know, they've, they've got a couple of key guys there that are good goal scorers and, uh, you know, they're quite a good you know fast team so um, obviously they're relatively new to the league um, but yeah they, they seem a really good team and just like any other team you know it's going to be a challenge but hopefully in our in our home barn we'll be able to do it. Um, yourself back up netminder at Five Flyers what's that role like obviously waiting in the wings to, to grab your chance when it comes? Oh well you know it's, it's, it's quite a difficult one because obviously you know you've got to be on the bench all the time but um, it's one of these things where you've got to keep yourself involved and make sure that you're always ready you know it's one of these things like I experienced a few years ago you know you never know when you that opportunity is going to come up you know whether Brownie gets injured or you know it's something that I've got to step up so it's one of these situations where you've got to keep yourself ready all the time keep yourself confident and uh, keep yourself fit over the season so. How much are you enjoying being part of the, the Five Flyers team? Oh, it's, it's great, you know, it's, and especially this year, it's a great bunch of guys and uh, I'm really enjoying it so far this season. So, and How strong a goalkeeper is, is David Brown? And is there things that you you learn from him when watching him in training and, and in matches? Oh, yeah, he's a really great goalie, you know, it's, everyone's seen that. He's kept us in a lot of these games over the last few weeks and he's, um, yeah, it's, it's great to see a different perspective, you know, Dave being a smaller goalie, you know, he, he does things slightly different, but definitely I, I pull a lot of things from him and his pre-game rituals and all that kind of stuff, you know, it's, it's, it's quite cool to see. And what's it like being a netminder and what do you enjoy most about it? Um, it's just a bit different, you know, it's, the, the team rely heavily on you and, you know, it's it's one of these things, it can have its advantages and disadvantages being a goalkeeper, it's, um, you know, if you make a mistake it's very obvious where you know players can make a few mistakes and it's maybe not so obvious so it's it's trying to get past those and be very confident in your own net so and just uh, just finally um you're gonna go and see star wars this week um well i've been trying to find time to do that um with training and obviously working and such um i'm looking at maybe going to see it next week quite excited to go and see that <laughs> just great thank you all right